Here's how you can be gifted this. If you do this and I draw your name tomorrow, you will get the finished product. And uh, if you want to be notified 10 minutes before we go live, you can text Hey Cindy. Thank you, Deanna. You can text Hey Cindy to this number and you'll be on our text list. And what I do is send you a 10 minute warning when we are gonna go live, okay? So, let's see. So, I want to do, I don't wanna do a white background today, okay? Thank you, I just painted, I literally stopped getting the dip on my nails because it was killing my nails and they were so thin and terrible. And so, I stopped doing that about six months ago and they finally have uh, recuperated and grown out. So if I want them to look nice, I have to polish them myself. And then the, the, the polish only lasts a couple of days because they just don't make nail polish the way they used to, right? Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want my bunny to be white. So we're going to, I'm gonna trace out my bunny and my balloon, and then we're gonna paint around it for our background. I don't wanna have to fight the background because I think I'm gonna do it in a blue color. I don't wanna have to fight to get my bunny back to be white. So I'm gonna grab some tape, and I'm gonna tape this onto my canvas. Then I'm just gonna trace the outside of the bunny and the egg, and then we'll paint around that for our Ooh, background, okay? So let me situate this, make sure that my balloon is actually on the canvas. <laughs> and look what my tape did. It totally wrapped itself up. Hang on, give me a sec. Things are crazy around here. So I'm gonna take this down just so it sits where I want it to. Then we're gonna grab our tracing paper. I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna trace the outline of my art piece. Where is my stylus? Okay, so I'm gonna slip this under. Look at all you sprinklers. We'll slip this under. I'm gonna turn it this way. Hang on, I gotta get it situated. And I'm gonna just trace my, really lightly trace my balloon. Balloon, AKA Easter egg. And then I'm gonna trace just the outside of my bunny. Oh, I did a terrible job there. So we'll come off the canvas and off the canvas. So it's just a very generalized, messy, messy um, trace of that, but that's okay. We'll fix him once we get our background on. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this sitting somewhere accessible. And I'm gonna grab my plate of a month's worth and I'm gonna paint my background. I believe I am going to use the ever lovely Calypso Blue for my background. So we'll get some of that on the plate in this blue area. And I'm also going to add, what? Obviously some white, right? <laughs> Gotta add the white. Oh, that's funny how to start a bakery with Jonica. <laughs> Jonica, I swear, every day that you post food from your bakery, I think if I lived near you, I would be so fat because I would not be able to resist all those delicious uh, sandwiches and the little lunch packets that you do. And when you post the, the no-bake oatmeal stuff, that is like my most favorite cookie in the entire universe. And it just makes me want to drive to Alabama and get some lunch. Okay, so I'm going to grab a brush. And we're just going to get some background on using the blue and the white. So um, this is like a quarter or maybe a three-eighths 
inch flat, whatever you're comfortable with. It doesn't have to be the exact size, just whatever you like, okay? So I am gonna start with a little bit of white just around the edge of my bunny. So I'm just gonna take that white just on this one side. And go around. And then I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to go into my blue. And we're going to start on the outside. I'll probably need to do my sides too. And then we'll blend towards our bunny. So it's going to be a little lighter around where our bunny is because we added that white. Let me add a little more. And I like my backgrounds not to be a solid color. I don't want it to be one color to me that's kind of bland. So I do like to incorporate a couple of different colors and um, give myself a little bit of a variety of color. So we're gonna do the top and then we'll worry about the sides in a minute. And my balloon is terrible. My egg balloon. That's okay, we're gonna fix it when we do our egg. We got a little bit of white over here. I'm going to turn her upside down. We're going to get some white between the ears. I'll get some blue. And I could barely see. Oops, I need the, blue, the white. I can barely see that ear. I'm gonna go into that white and go right around La Bonnie. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker blue right on this edge. And I'm just gonna take it over and real quick, we are going to go ahead and finish the outside edge so that I'm gonna get a bigger brush so it goes much faster so that I don't have to worry about that finished edge for whoever is gifted this cute little bunny. So I'm just gonna take my blue We'll just fit, and I'm, I'll do a little bit of white as well. We'll just finish these edges while we're at it. Hey, Sherry, thank you for the stars. So we'll get that blue on the edges. We'll try to do it in a timely fashion so that we're not taking forever. That's why I normally don't do my edges live because, you know, it's just, sometimes it can be ho-hum. It's like, oh my God, get on with it. But that's all right, we need to do the edge, so. Anytime it's a dark color on the top, I like to do my edge because you don't want that dark paint color on the top and then have the white edges, so. I don't paint them a lot because oftentimes my back, my the background on the top of the painting will be a light color or white, but I'm trying to be more colorful this year. So we are doing more color, more colored backgrounds. I don't know if you saw last week's live, I did cute little flowers, pink and red and coral flowers on a black and gold background. It was super gorgeous. Super gorgeous. Okay, so we got our background did. Let's come back up here and just add a little bit more interest 
to this part. Voila, okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna hit this with my handy dandy heat gun, AKA blow dryer. And let's get this dry. That way we can move right on to the next step without any further ado. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Mary. You guys are so sweet. We'll get this dry. I'm gonna hit those sides too, so I don't have a mess on my hands. I think that's good. I think the taste. Great. So now we have a little bunny and some Easter's. So here's what I was gonna show you: these cute little daisies. I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They were originally $3.99. Uh, I got them for, I think it was 40% off. So it's just a couple of dollars for all these little daisies. There's 24, thank you Mary, 24 in the pack. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I was thinking about doing with these, just for something a little different. Let me show you. Just every once in a while I like to do something different off the chain. So we have all these cute colors. So I was thinking about just piling up, um, you know, these on the bottom edge, just go all the way across and then like double stack maybe so that it's just a whole field of flowers. I think that's gonna be cute. What do you think? I like it. Just a very random field of flowers there. I think that's what we're gonna do. But before we do that, um, we gotta paint our bunny and we're looking at him from the back side and we're gonna paint our cute little Easter egg too. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is grab up a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm gonna put, go ahead and paint this Easter egg. I'm gonna put a little bit of white on him just as a start. We have debris, we have debris. And then while the white is wet, I really wanna make sure I have a nice Easter egg shape. So this is an Easter egg balloon. Let me adjust a little, and then we're gonna paint it yellow. We'll let that dry, then we'll add some decor. All right, so we got all that white, and it's shaped pretty nicely. I'm gonna wipe my brush off. I'm not gonna rinse it. I'm just gonna wipe it down, and I'm gonna add a little bit of this crocus yellow to my plates. And we're gonna paint that whole thing yellow. See how bright that yellow is? See why I added the white first? Cause that is super, super bright. And the white helps settle that down. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna offload that yellow and we'll grab a little bit more white. And on this right side, I'm gonna add a touch of white, just kind of make a right side parentheses. Just a touch of white to that side of your balloon. All right, so we're gonna let that dry while we use white on our bunny. I'm gonna put a little bit more white in my plate because I got blue mixed in with that. And we do not want that to happen. Let me rinse. Rinse my brush. And I'm just gonna fill in this bunny and then we're gonna use some pinks 
and such to add just a few minor details to our cute little bunny. So we'll just clean up this area. I'm gonna turn this upside down for one second and get in the point of this ear. There we are. Back right side up. So I'm just cleaning up my line from my background. So it's nice and straight, no messiness. All right, and we'll come down here. We'll fill in. Oops, I got yellow in my blue. We'll fix that in just a second. Actually, there's probably gonna be a flower there, so we're just gonna leave it be. All right. So we're gonna let that dry while I add a little bit of Hauser Green Light. Shake that up. Get a little tiny bit, you don't need much. And I'm gonna go right along the bottom with the green. And while I'm down here, that's gonna be the bed for our cute little flowers. All right, so while I'm down here, I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna go upward really lightly, make a few little grassy, I'm gonna avoid my bunny if I can for now, and make a few little grassy sprigs. Try not to make that perfectly straight. All right, so let's get this dry. Won't take but two seconds. Let's get it dry. All right, get that Easter egg a little bit. Now, I want to figure out how we're going to do our Easter egg. I think for the egg itself, just trying to find my bubbles, we're going to add a few little cute little bubbles to the egg, but we're going to add some color first. So, I am going to, I'm just going to grab a pencil, and I think what we'll do is just separate, we'll do this and make like a band, like maybe like this. And then I think we'll put a, a couple of little flowers similar to our daisies up here and down here and let's do something different there. Let's grab some white. Actually, let's do pink. We're gonna do dragon fruit. Thank you, Mary. We'll just put a little bit, we don't need much. We're gonna fill in that center of our egg with this pink. Right up to where I drew that line. I have to hold my breath. Ooh, I'll turn it upside down. Do you guys turn your art when you're painting so it's like more accessible? Do you guys do that? I have to. So let me get right up to the edge. Make sure we have the whole band painted pink. to be done with all that noise. Okay, so we're gonna do that. 
Yeah, I think we all do. I think we all have to. So now I think what I'm gonna do is take my same pink and I'm gonna make just some cute little quickie flowers. So I'm gonna take a small pointed paintbrush, get it wet a little, and I'm gonna use that same pink and I'm gonna do just a lay it down five times. One, two, three. Just plop that paintbrush in. There's one flower. <laughs> and I think what we'll do, watch this. We'll do a little cheat so we don't get outside of our uh, Easter egg. I'm gonna do one, two, three. Now, it doesn't spill over into our background. <laughs> How y'all like that? And we'll do one, two, three, four, five. So we're just... These are like the, the quickest, cutest little flowers. We're gonna add some uh, color to the center of those in just a sec. And let's do some on the bottom. Let me fix that one, it's a little, it's a little off. So we'll do one, two, three, four, a little wonky too but it'll be all right and we'll do one two three four five and I think we'll use our tape again and we'll go right on the side and we'll mask off the background so we don't get pink on that and we'll do one two boom look at that <laughs> there you are. So that is a good start for our little um, decorating our egg. So now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of white. I'm just going to use that same brush. Let me, br let me rinse that off. I think I'm actually going to put green. I'm going to swirl that green around onto my paintbrush. I'm going to put a little dot, a half a dot. And then some white. Oops, probably need to let that dry for a few minutes. But I'm gonna add on my band of pink, I'm gonna add white dots with the tail end of my paintbrush. We'll put some little bubbles there on that. I think I'm gonna let me try. I kind of want to incorporate another color, but I don't know what to do. Let's see. We got plenty of yellow. Let's try this color. This let me try it first and then we'll see. If we want to use it, we don't because it's dried up. <laughs> Never mind. That color is dry. We need to toss that. I'm gonna leave it be. I don't wanna go crazy, but I, what I may do is add just a few white dots around. Look what I did. There too. We'll accent those with our little pen so they'll be, um, They'll stand out more. All right, now we're going to work on our cute little bunny and we're gonna use this same pink. Uh, this is the dragon fruit, so I'm gonna add a little bit more to that. And we still have yellow, so I'm just gonna go into my white again and I'm gonna work on one 
body part at a time. So we're going to add white onto his ear. And then I'm going to go in with my brush. I'm going to get a tiny amount of that pink on my brush, blend it in, and I'm going to go on one side of his ear with a little bit of that pink. I'm going to show that to you close up. So you can see we just uh, gave that ear a little bit of dimension by adding a little pink to that one side. So let's do again. I'm going to rinse that because we want to start with white again. We're going to do the other ear. So we'll paint it white so it's wet. We want to work wet on wet because the best way to create blendy highlights is to work wet on wet, wet paint onto wet paint. All right, so that little ear is done. I'm gonna go in, get a little tiny bit of pink, and that, what I mean, when I say tiny, I mean tiny, just a teeny tiny bit. We'll go back and forth, blend it into your brush. We're gonna come on this side again, and just pull that pink down through that wet paint all the way to the top of his head. Just like that. Now, while it's still got a little pink on it, I'm gonna hit this side of the ear, that underside where it is bent. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit of pink through there. Just like that. So we hit where the underside of where that ear is folded. Got it? All right, so I'm gonna rinse that pink off again. Oh my goodness, what is going on on this page? All right, so I'm gonna grab up some white. We're gonna go around his head. We'll go down his neck just a little to offload some of that. And I'm going to take a tiny amount of pink again. We're going to go back and forth. So it blends that pink into that white on our brush. And I'm going to start just on the right side of that right ear. And we're going to come around his head and about, hang on, let me smooth that out a little bit around his head and about halfway around his cute little neck. We probably need to add a little something there too. Just kind of blend that through so you should have a definition of the back of his head, okay? So we're gonna rinse that off. We're gonna do his body with the same white, just clean it up so we can work with the whites or with the pink without being overbearing. Okay, we're going to grab a little bit of that pink again, tiny, tiny amount. You're going to go back and forth on your palette, back and forth to blend it into that white that's on your brush. And we're going to start. I don't know, about a quarter of the way into his neck right there. And we'll bring that down. That was probably a little heavy on the pink, but that's okay. I can smooth it out by just going over it a few times. Let me see. And if you find that your line is too heavy, just grab some more white on your brush, okay? And just come back and go over it with your white to take that down a notch, okay? And I've got a little bit, a tiny bit of pink on my brush right now, so I'm just gonna brush some of that pink on the other side. And let's see. I'm not gonna give you a tail. This is the back of our bunny, but I'm not gonna give you a tail because we're gonna put all those cute little flowers 
here. So we're gonna leave that as is, but what I am gonna do is take my brush. Let me see if I can find my baby brush. I'm just gonna use this uh, liner brush. I'm gonna grab up a little bit of this green, load my brush up, and I'm gonna add a few more flower or uh, grass, pieces of grass right over the top of our bunny as well. So you can see. Let me get a little more. So we're just making some grass. And then we'll put our cute little flowers right on top of that. So this will stick out from behind the uh, flowers, okay? So, let me do this. I think that's all the painting. Looks good. Let's blow dry this really quick. And let's do our details. And now we're gonna use our infamous little paint pen, if I can find it. The graphic marker, I think that's it. So we're using this graphic marker, it's from Master's Touch. Uh, that's a Hobby Lobby brand. It is, um, let me find the right one. Master's Touch Graphic 0.5. And I like to use this to do fine lines because normally I would, oh, we're gonna do that. Normally I would um, use paint and a small liner brush, but because my arthritis gets the best of me lately, this is easier for me and I love the little bit of detail that that creates. So I'm gonna start up here on my Easter egg and I'm just gonna outline it. And I like short strokes that are not perfect. So we'll outline the I'm gonna do these flowers and I'm gonna show you how kind of messy they are because that's how I like it. I like them a little messy. I think it gives it more character. So let me do my little white dots, and then we'll outline these flowers. And I think I'm gonna put a little white dot in the middle Oops, of my flowers too. We'll do that in just a second, but you can see how just adding that line work on the egg makes all the difference in the world. It kind of makes everything pop. This is absolutely my favorite part of the painting is when I get to do my line work, right? So now what we're gonna do, I need to give my balloon a line. I'm gonna give it a little bow first because you always have a little bow on your balloon. So I'm gonna bring it down to about right here where his little bunny hand might be. We'll attach that right there, and I'll go ahead and add his body. We'll do his ears. And you see how I'm not even trying to stay in the lines and be perfect. I like it a little messy. I'm gonna add some of the, of the uh, grass with my pen as well. Just make a few little strokes. I'll show you this in just a second. Look, is that, I can't figure out where to put my piece, but is that not cute? Can y'all see that really well? How that line work with this cute pen, this wonderful little pen, makes all the difference in the world. So cute, all right? So now we're gonna add a couple things. I'm gonna grab up my stylus 
And where the green is on my flowers, just real quick, I'm gonna add just another little white dot of detail. I think it just needs that little bit of, let's do yellow. That little bit of something on top of that green. I'm gonna try yellow too. I like the whites. All right, I'm gonna hit that for a millisecond with the dryer. And then we're gonna add our details. All right. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I have these cute little dots inside my pink. I think what I'm gonna do, let me see. I gotta, I gotta coordinate myself real quick here. That, 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 did not use any of that. All right, where is my paint pen? So this is a, it's a glue pen. Thank you, Gary. This is a glue pen. It's just exactly the same as the Eileen's glue that's normally in the bottle. But when the last time I went, it's the same as this. The last time I went, they didn't have these bottles. They did have these cute little glue pens. So I went ahead and bought these and they're super fun for small little dots of glue. So I'm gonna use this pen to create, hang on, I gotta get my glue to the top. I just want the tiniest dot of glue on some of my little white dots. We'll do that one. We're gonna do the ones that are whole right there. And then I'm going to add a little bubble to each one just to give that, that Easter egg balloon some dimension. I'm gonna pop that right on top of where we put those little clear or the little white dots. That one's terrible, that one's too sadded. Get rid of him. And so cute. Here. Let me add one here too. That might be too much, but we're gonna go with it. Need one more, one more little bubble. These are terrible, look at that. That's in the bubble bag. <laughs> that is not working for me. We'll put one right here. All right, so there are our little bubbles. You can put as many as you want. You don't have to put one on everything. So now we're going to lay out our cute little daisies. Let me grab, I threw that away. Let me grab that label back for my people. Um, I'm gonna just lay down a little bit of glue. Just swirl on a dab of glue down here at the bottom where I'm gonna start laying a few of the flowers, okay? So here are, oops, here are the flowers and there's several colors. We have pink, white, green, blue, orange. I'm gonna start with an orange one. And I'm just gonna lay it down. And give me a little more glue. That is such a small amount of glue that it just, pretty sure it just dried as fast as I put it on. Okay, so then we'll do this blue one. And I'm gonna move, I'm gonna wiggle them around. I don't want them to be all exactly in the same, like I don't want to make a line. I want them to be random. Uh, here we got a purple. And a pink. Let's throw in a white one. We'll throw that one a little higher. And I think we use one of every color. I don't want to miss out. So let's do another little green. Let 
and a orange. All right, so that's just our first layer. <laughs> so here's what I wanna do. I am going to, instead of putting it on the canvas, I'm gonna put it on the back of my flower. And I think I'm gonna start with a pink one here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of the flower, because I don't know where it's gonna land. And I'm gonna overlap it right on top of these flowers that I already started on the left side. So it's kind of laying on top of a couple of the other flowers. So we're gonna do that again with a white one. So I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna add a little bit of glue, just a little dot on every petal, because I'm not sure what petal's gonna to touch and what one isn't. And we'll throw this one up right here. Press it down really nice. All right, now let's do a blue one. One little tiny dot on each petal. <gasps> Oops, I got my fingers in it. Hang on. Let's flip it, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go up a little. They're wood, they're little wood flowers. And let's see, we have pink, white, and green, so let's throw a purple in. Whoa, I'm making a mess, so we'll do glue and we'll flip that one to here I think we got one more I'm gonna go with we have plenty of white we have two whites we have two oranges uh, green and orange there do we want maybe one more pink or a purple purples there Blue's there, so I think we're gonna do pink right there. No, they do not have a sticky back. They are little wood, tiny little flowers, and they do not have a sticky back. You have to glue them. We're gonna do that one just right there. So let me show you this close up. It's so stinking cute. Let me put the top on my glue first. Look at that. However, we have something missing. I know this is the back of the bunny. He's facing away from us, but I feel like he needs something around his neck for some reason. I don't know. Is he okay just like he is, or should we do something to the back of his neck? I feel like it's okay. It's not gonna be a big deal. Um. So I think I'm just gonna let it go, right? Try not to worry about every little thing. These flowers came from Hobby Lobby. I'll show you the label. In the Easter area, it just says Easter Paper Crafts. Oh, whiskers, yes, thank you. Just Easter Paper Crafts over in the Easter area, okay? So let's do whiskers. Where is his whiskers? All right, so I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna flip it upside down so I don't leave, so I don't mess them up. Yeah, this is his back. So we don't wanna put something around his neck that is odd. So let me see. Uh, let's do a whisker, a whisker, a whisker. A whisker, a whisker, a whisker. All right, whiskers, we're gonna be done. <laughs> Let's see. I am gonna. I, I, I am going. I'm gonna put these back in a little bag. The little flowers. Yes, it's his back. And we're gonna resin because I think we're done. I think it's super simple. It's super cute, and I like him enough, just like he is, not to mess with it. Right? You don't have to mess with everything. So let's 
do this. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot his whiskers, but that made all the difference in the world. So cute. Yeah, whiskers. Okay, so we I'm gonna set this aside real quick and we are going to mark our cup for resin. Let me get my pen. So I'm thinking we barely need any resin. So I am gonna make a quarter ounce. If I'm, I may be sorry, but I think that is gonna be plenty. So we're gonna do a quarter ounce of hardener, quarter ounce of resin, and that is going, that was the wrong measurement. It's over here. A quarter ounce of hardener and a quarter ounce of resin. And that should be more than enough. I'm sorry, an eighth an ounce and an eighth an ounce for a quarter ounce total. So on your little cup, it'll have the ounce mark. Okay, I still did it wrong. No, I didn't. That's it. An eighth an ounce of resin and an eighth an ounce of hardener. It's going to be really hard to do that small amount, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Let's test our skill, right? <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. So I'm going to put my gloves on because we never, he is gazing off at his balloon. We never do resin without our gloves on. We're going to do that. And I'm gonna grab my bottles. They're almost empty, so it's a good thing we only need a quarter an ounce. Yeah, these are sealed really well, Jane. They have kind of a shiny surface, so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. So let me, this might take a second because my bottle is almost empty. I was trying not to fill it up before I moved, but I may have to. So, we're going to get, come on, you can do it, you can do it, boom, quarter, or eighth an ounce of hardener, and we're going to hit the next line with an eighth an ounce of resin. So I want, don't want to go over my line, so I'm going to go really slow and be very careful. i to hold my mouth right, too. Make sure it's nice and even. Okay, okay, that went fast. There we go. All right. So now we have, I'm going to repeat myself because I keep saying it wrong, but now we have an eighth of an ounce of hardener and an eighth of an ounce of resin in our little baby cup that I buy off Amazon, in case you were wondering. And so now I'm just gonna stir. So if you have any questions right now about what we're doing, what we've done, um, what's coming up in the future, blah, 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 any question you have about uh, Art Shattered, the Shattered Circle, whatever, now's a good time because you have three minutes of my undivided attention. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Catherine's going to time me and tell me when my three minutes are up. The Shattered Circle will be open in April. We have a um, our spring challenge coming up. Um, we're going to start selling spots, I think, the end of this month. And then after our spring, after our challenge or in the middle of our challenge, we'll open the doors. I think, Barbara, it's going to be around the 18th or 19th of April. The pen is a Master's Touch Graphic Illustrator, 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. 0 0.5. <laughs> I don't know. Something all around, all around there. So we're gonna stir, stir, stir. I did use my torch a lot, Amy, and I still use it sometimes, but for the most part, um, I use the um, heat gun now. I do like it when I do a larger piece. I'll probably use my torch because I think it does a little bit of a better job 
for the but for the most part and for safety, um, I'm trying to mostly use my heat gun. Uh, Christy, I use wood. Okay, you can. I use a wood block, and this will sit right on top of this wood block and elevate it so that um, it doesn't stick to the surface. But you can use these same little cups I'm mixing in. You can use those upside down. You could use soup cans. You can use those little plastic triangles. Anything that will tuck up under your canvas that will um, keep it elevated, it will work. I've used so many different things so many times. Hey, Betty. I uh, would know try to paint the whole thing white first. No, I don't think you have to do that. If you're worried, Kathy, about it being porous and soaking up your paint, you can spray the whole thing with a light coat of a clear poly sealer first, and then your paint will go on better. But if you bought it at Hobby Lobby, it's probably good to go. Jane says, do you think the blower or torch discolors? I think the um, torch is probably more apt to burn than the, than the um, blower. Did she say time? <laughs> she said time. Okay, hang on. I'm going to just do it one more second or two because um, I was talking and not stirring for a couple of times. So, can we let flat on wax paper to cure. I would not do that. I think the wax paper um, might stick or what will happen is if it drips over the side and you have your wax paper down, it's gonna harden in a puddle on your wax paper and you're gonna have to peel that off. So it's better elevated no matter what. Okay. So let me fix my gloves because they're coming off. And I'm gonna start down here to make sure I get a good bit of resin on my little flowers so that they don't pop off. So I'm gonna just drizzle. And I'll also use my finger a little to make sure it doesn't puddle. But I'm gonna drizzle right on top of these flowers in between them and such to make sure they're stuck really nicely. It's just kind of like I would do with the glass. So we'll get that stuck down first and then we'll worry about the rest. This is real cutie. I'm gonna use my hand for a second. Just dab, dab, dab. Thanks, Tracy. I'm just gonna spread this with my fingers because there's a lot of gaps, a lot of space between the little baby flowers. So I wanna make sure that is covered nicely. I'm gonna turn it around this way just for my convenience for a second and make sure that I have resin underneath there where the flower overlaps. I think I did it. I think that's good. All right, so we're gonna skip up to our bubbles. Make sure those are secured. And then we'll use the rest of the resin just to cover the naked spots. <laughs> I call them the flat surface where there is no glass and no extra goodies. So let's do that. I'm just use my hand and I'm just gonna pull that resin around to make sure my entire canvas covered on the front. So it's nice and shiny. Everything holds together well. 
Everything is secure. And has a nice even coat of rosam. That's so cute, y'all. I knew when I bought these flowers, I was gonna make something super fun. So now I'm kind of looking at my piece to make sure I don't have any spots that are skipped with resin. I want to make sure every little spot has resin on it. Not doing my sides. And I'm going to take this glove off. Like I'll be able to use these again. So I'm going to salvage these because I didn't really get them very dirty. And here is what we have. Let me throw this cup away. Here is our finished piece. Now, don't forget, we are gifting this to someone. I'll show you what I use on my table in just a second. Uh, we're going to be gifting this to someone. All you have to do to be in the drawing is to uh, sprinkle to your friends. Let them know about our Art Shattered page and how that we're live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. making something cute and fun. Let's pop our bubbles. Cute, cute. Oh my goodness. Don't you want him? Don't you want him? Look at those cute flowers. That is the perfect application for those flowers. Love, love, love. Mm -hmm.